Hi, I am here with Karen Burke, the current president of the Reading Scholarship Foundation, and she's going to tell us a little bit about the role of the Scholarship Foundation tonight. Thank you very much, and thanks to RCTV for allowing the Reading Scholarship Foundation and other Reading organizations the opportunity to talk to the people of Reading and explain what we do. The mission of the Reading Scholarship Foundation is to provide scholarship assistance, primarily on the basis of need, to Reading students pursuing higher education. The Reading community acting together has really made this possible. Fantastic, fantastic. Um, how do you raise money for the Scholarship Foundation? Uh, we raise money in a variety of different ways. Uh, first of all, we're very grateful to the hundred or so donors who have established permanent memorial funds, either in honor of or oftentimes in memory of someone in their family or a favorite teacher or someone whom they admired within the Reading community. We have about a hundred or so of those. Many local organizations also provide funds, some permanent and some on an annual basis, to supplement these um, permanent memorial funds. And our local businesses are very generous, providing funds that we can then use as scholarships to the students who apply. Fantastic. That's great. Um, and how do you go about choosing the recipients of the scholarships? The recipients are chosen by an awards committee. Um, they are blindly reviewed. There is no name or personal information visible. They are chosen primarily on the basis of financial need. So they submit a FAFSA information to the awards committee chairperson, who then provides it to the committee members. And some of our scholarships have certain stipulations, so we match students to those stipulations. Okay. Others of them are more general and can be given to any student. But again, it's done blindly on the basis of um, financial need. Fantastic. Um, how can we get in touch with the Reading Scholarship Foundation? Um, you can get in touch with us through our website, which is readingsf.org, or by phone at 781-779-6110. Sorry, 781-779-6110. Okay. We are very grateful to all Reading citizens because many of them also contribute on an annual basis when we have our annual fund drive and they provide the funds that Reading Scholarship Foundation uses to award additional scholarships beyond what has been established in these permanent funds by the organizations or businesses. And we also commend Reading students who work very hard in college and are doing a wonderful job, and their families who are making a sacrifice to see that they get to go to college. Um, I work with a wonderful group of board members who work very diligently to make these things happen. Uh, we are preparing for our 47th annual award ceremony at the beginning of June. Wow, that's wonderful. At which time we will add to the over $3.3 million that we've already given out to about 5,000 recipients. That's fantastic. Good for you guys. So uh, we have a brochure that uh, anyone would like. I can mail it to them. They can contact me through the website, readingsf.org, or by phone and I'd be happy to get uh, this out to them. It lists all of the individual funds Wonderful. plus the organizations and businesses that have contributed. That's fantastic. And so you, you have your big event coming up, and the date of that is? June 1st, Wednesday, June 1st. And at this point, uh, some donors come and present their awards. Others are not able to do that. But students who will be recipients uh, will all come, and at that time, then they'll get their award. That's fantastic. That's wonderful. Any last things you want to let us know about the Scholarship Foundation? Well, we are very grateful um, for the support of the Reading community um, all these years, and um, if anyone wishes to help, obviously make a donation. We'd welcome that, or any inquiries, they can get in touch with us. That's fantastic. Karen, thank you so much for being with us tonight. Um, and we're going to toss it over to the next interview.